Hey guys, welcome back. So today I have a video for you guys that is combining two of my favorite types of creating art at the moment, which is my fluid alcohol ink um, on canvas art with my 3D sculptural uh, pieces that I've been making out of Yupo paper. By placing the canvas down flat on the floor, you're really able to move the alcohol inks around and mix them around with each other, I think, more um, successfully than obviously if you had them up straight on the canvas um, on an easel. At this point in the painting, I'm really just trying to add more layers of the colors um, onto the canvas. I'm really not trying to utilize any more rubbing alcohol. If I am, it's just to try to helping to blend the colors that I currently have to make it look more fluid and almost more cloud-like. I don't want to really um, make anything seem more transparent. I'm trying to make it more saturated and more opaque. So if you do see me pick up the rubbing alcohol bottle, it really is to help blend and not to make anything lighter. It's really just to add um, the saturation at this point for that upper corner of the piece, which I was very happy on how it came out. It almost looked, you know, beautifully cloud-like, flowing-like, um, which, you know, is something that, once again, you really can't plan. You just kind of have to go for it and move quickly with the rubbing alcohol and the alcohol inks and just kind of add and move and mix as you go. So now I'm wrapping this up and here you're seeing what the final painting looked like um, before I added any of the Yupo paper structure. So here I'm starting to work on the Yupo paper structure that, you know, I've kind of been infatuated with over the last, you know, probably six or seven months or so. So which I did, which was kind of fun on this one, was um, I kind of pushed myself and did them in thin long strips. And this can be a bit of a pain because it is kind of hard to manage. You will notice I do have my mask on the entire time. Um, and I do have my trusty desk fan. Luckily, my desk fan did finally come in the mail. Um, I do this because, you know, Yupo paper isn't synthetic. And when you burn anything, obviously any type of toxin can get into the air and you do not want to breathe that in. So I really do like using the desk fan, which you see me, you know, holding the Yupo paper up to. I did run a little bit low on butane, so I had to add that into my torch at one point. Um, but you do see how, you know, by doing this, you know, I do get to keep my mask on. I do get to put, you know, the Yupo paper structure that's forming in front of it to help keep, you know, the structure and, you know, the paper in place and how I'm forming it and manipulating it. And, you know, I still get to be safe with the fact that I'm keeping the, the mask on itself so I can not breathe in whatever toxins are being admitted from either alcohol inks or the Yupo paper from uh, burning it and melting it. So you're really just watching me continuously working with the butane torch, the Yupo paper, and the fan to manipulate the Yupo paper to form um, this elongated structure. I ended up making four elongated structures for this particular um, 36 by 36 inch canvas. Three of them um, were interlocked together. Um, luckily enough, they kind of just fit um, properly in with one another, which was great. Um, I just, the way that they fl properly just flowed into the painting itself was kind of perfect. I couldn't have planned, planned it any better. And, um, like I do with my structural pieces, I just used a few like dabs of hot glue to make sure that everything was structurally sound. 
And then the final piece that I put in the lower right hand corner, I just felt like it was meant to be there. And um, just with each piece, they just kind of began and molded and became their own just by doing this, um, what you're seeing me do here over and over and over again. So you notice that I'm kind of burning the edges. Once again, I just do that on some of my pieces just to help finish the edges on them so they're not just straight from the Yupo paper. It just gives the pieces themselves some more interest and um, some more depth. So what's kind of great is that whenever I do these pieces, they kind of do just form on their own. I never try to force it. Um, I feel that once it gets forced, it, it just kind of falls apart. Nothing really seems to want to fit in with one another. I think that's what's kind of great is that when I did finally put the pieces together and put them onto the canvas with the hot glue, they really just went on and felt like they were meant to be there and just added this really different type of element that I hadn't really seen before. So here it is. This is the final piece. And thanks again for watching and see you next time.